برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين When the brothers are requested to come close together and gather. <coughs> Can I please request Malana Ibrahim Kaaba to come to the front? If Malana Ibrahim Kaaba can just come to the front. And also, please, Malana Ilyas. So, if all the Aima can just come to the front before the program starts, if all the Aima, if I can just request them to please come to the front. <coughs> And also, the brothers, please do come together, close together. There are a lot of people who are waiting at the back, trying to come into the Jamaat Kana. So whatever missing gaps there are in the Jamaat Kana, please try to fill them up. Any vacant spaces, try to fill them up. As الحمد لله الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد we start this program by praising our Creator our Sustainer Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we send salat and salam salutations upon Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم my dearest friends in Islam before I start I would like to extend my gratitude to each and every person who is sat here today. Words cannot explain how blessed this program is, the one which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the tawfiq and the ability to sit in today. Numerous and uncountable angels will come and descend to such gatherings today. My dearest friends in Islam, today we are witnessing two miracles. Two miracles which we can witness today. The first is that we have approximately 11 Huffaz that are sat before us who have managed to complete the memorization of the Quran cover to cover. And each and every Huffaz which is sat before us today is worthy of our utmost respect. My Shaykh Hafidahullah Ta'ala just last week he was mentioning a very very good example that just try to imagine that a mu'min, a Muslim he is walking on the road he comes across a sheet of paper which is on the floor 
and his eyes it falls on this sheet of paper and he sees that it has the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what do you think this Muslim will do he will pick this paper up and if there is any dirt then he will wipe this dirt away why because it has the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala written on it so this sheet of paper it has this respect because of the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today before us we have 11 huffaz within whose hearts resides over 6,000 verses of the Holy Quran this is a truly remarkable miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these huffaz are worthy of our utmost respect the second aspect of this program is that we have gathered here to acknowledge and come to recognize the legacy which has been left before us by our pious local ulama who are the gem of this community who are the gems of this community because of whom today we have the ability to say the kalima la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah these pious pious predecessors who have put their earnest efforts away for this community more so we have our Imam Malsab, Maulana Ismail Sahib, who has given away 40 years of his life, like I mentioned before. 40 years, which is approximately three quarters of his life away for the khidmah, for the service of this community of Deepdale. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all his efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the tawfiq and the ability to follow in his footsteps. Without taking more of your time, I would like to call upon Maulana Ibrahim Sahib, Maulana Ibrahim Makbul Sahib, who is the Imam of Quwatul Islam, to initiate this program with the recitation of the Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <clears throat> just before I start, I would like to just say that as this program has a connection with the glorious Quran, I would just like to give one message that let us connect ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through this glorious Quran. A pious saint has said, if you want to gauge and see your connection with Allah, look at your connection with Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability and forgive our sins. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد أيح سب أليا قدر عليه أحد يقول أهلكت ما للبدا أ 
أيحسب أن لم يره أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد أيحسب أن لن يقدر عليه أحد يقول أهلك ما للبدا أيحسب أن لم يره أحد ألم نجعل له ولسانا وشفتين وهديناه النجدين فلاقتحم العقبة وما أدراك ما العقبة فك رقبة أو إطعام في يوم ذي مسغبة يتيما ذا مقربة أو مسكينا ذا متربة ثم كان من الذين آمنوا وتواصوا بالصبر وتواصوا بالمرحمة أولئك أصحاب الميمنة والذين كفروا بآياتنا هم أصحاب المشأمة عليهم نار مؤصدة صدق الله العظيم مولانا ابراهيم كاباسا بليز تيل مي وير هي از Of his name, I'll be sending you home if he's not here. He's taken us three visits. My respected brothers in Islam, inshallah, throughout the program, you will be blessed to listen to individuals from within our community. As I mentioned over a Juma ago, that this time, we firmly decided that we are going to utilize the ulama within our community for such an auspicious occasion. 
and the reason for that is and I'm going to be true to myself because this is our community at times it feels that we're in the midst of a pandemic you might think to yourself okay, Mosab, come on not the COVID business again no I'm serious there seems to be an illness at times especially when you sit in gatherings where many individuals are comparing an alim with another alim and this has become so common before it used to be from an imam of one masjid to an imam of another masjid or an alim from a community to another alim but now with the social media and the youtube alims and scholars that we've got it's become a norm that we're just comparing an alim for another alim the imam that we just listened to hazrat maulana ibrahim sab who is the son of our respected imam hazrat maulana makbul sab damat barakatuhum and he is not going to like what i'm going to say but i feel it's my duty i need to share this with you because you might not hear him talk as much as i do on the mic very recently in our masjid we hosted a program we invited the chief executive of Preston Council, executive team of the hospital, and many other dignitaries from the coroner's officers to the police and so many more. I myself with Mulan Muhammad and Mulan Ahmad and others, we spoke to them. We got the praise, we got the du'as from individuals. My respected brothers in Islam, so you get a glimpse that we need a flavor from all different aspects to make a community function. Just like the community of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if everyone was like Abu Bakr, they would have not advanced. If everyone was like Umar, they would not have advanced. They needed Abdurrahman ibn Awf. They needed the likes of Abu Zar Ghifari radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Maulana Ibrahim Sahib, he comes to me as an Imam and he says, Mulsab, I am not going to be attending the program if it's okay with you. And he said that today I will not be able to take part in the food as well. Why? Because for the success of this program, not only have I made dua, but I am keeping a fast. My friends, I am telling you, it was the greatest and the biggest motivator that I had on that day. Mawlana Makbul Sahib, I've had the honor of traveling with him to Blackburn and back for over 10 years. And again, he might not be a speaker, but these spiritual backups and battery powers, my friends, you might compare one with the other, but that's because of our ignorance and jahala. We need these individuals so as a community we can function. Jazakumullah khairan Mawlana Ibrahim Sahib, Hazrat Mawlana Makbul Sahib, Damat Barakatuhum and all the other scholars and all the other Ustads, whether you get recognized by individuals or not, for all the khidmat that you do for all of us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the correct understanding. I am now going to invite Hafiz Ismail Bux, inshallah, to take us down uh, memory lane very briefly to do a presentation and just to remind ourselves of the effort that the elders had put behind for our communities. You know, we've been talking about having this sort of program for quite some time. And me and Mufti Sab were discussing that in this program we should have some sort of historical significance to it about how our elders contributed to the success and well being of our communities 60 years down the line. So when we sat down last week to look at the program, put my name against it five minutes. I'm scratching my head. Molisab, five minutes matter who will not. Sixty years of history. I'm gonna try and give you a snapshot in five minutes. It's gonna be a difficult one, but I'll try inshallah. So to begin with, our community started coming into this country in the late 1950s. Okay? By the early 60s, there was a small community already in Preston. Well, I'm gonna trace one family's travel from India to England. Okay? Sorry, um, Babri Alam is hosting that I can't hear me. Is that better? Is that better? Jazakallah. Okay. So this family are about to start their journey from India to England. 
mother and her sons to join their father who's already over here. They leave their home village to travel to Mumbai and from Mumbai they board a ship. No Etihad and no Emirates in those days. They board a ship and that ship takes them to a place called Djibouti. Djibouti, for those of us who don't know, is a small country next to Somalia. The ship then continues its journey and arrives at the port of Marseille in France. From here, the family board the train, which takes them to Calais. And from Calais, they hop on the ferry across the English Channel and they arrive in Dover, where they are met by their father, none other than Haji Ismail Batan Saab Rahmatullah, more famously known as Batan Chacha. So Batan Chacha meets his family in Dover. They travel together by train to London, and from London, they take a transport which brings them to Preston, right here in Peel Hall Street. They left India in December 1962. They arrive in England in Preston in January 1963. Year of the big freeze, one of the coldest winters ever. It snowed continuously for two or three months, I believe. Anyway, their attention quickly turned towards Ramadan, what we're going to do about fasting and taraweeh. So Batan Chacha organizes a Taravi in his own home and a Hafiz Saab by the name of Hafiz Ismail Mullah Saab who recently passed away, he used to live in Frenchwood he led the Taravi of the last 10 surahs okay they did the Taravi and now Batan Chacha is thinking about how am I going to teach these children about Islam, about Hadeen and there were some people already down Pilon Street the likes of Babu Saraf Ali and Rashid Saraf Ali and Ahmad Mirawala, they were already living over here. The Taylor family, the Sarafali family were already here. So Batan Chaja knew a Molsab who was in Batli at the time, a Molana Mahmoud Hafiz Ali. Okay, so Batan Chaja calls him over to come over to Preston and, and you know, this is what I want you to do teach, teach children the Madrasa. Okay, so Molana Sab comes over and he becomes a bit of a mobile Molsab. So two days in this area. Two days in the University Moreland Bank area and two days in Frenchwood and Avonham area. So that's how people opened up their doors so that boys and girls could learn about Islam. Okay? In this area, Batan Chacha, in another area it was uh, Haji Suleiman Moria Sab and Haji Suleiman Rawat Sab. They opened their doors so children could learn the madrasa. Quickly moving on, 1963, the Eid Salah took place in Avonham Park. Quite a considerable gathering. I think there were photos shared on Twitter. I don't know if you've got it up here, Mona. But uh, there were quite a few of gathering. And the community organized themselves. And by 1964, they collected some money after a Juma Salah, which was done in a community hall in Starkey Street. They raised some hundreds of pounds. In those times, it would be equivalent to about 12, 13,000 pounds of this day. Okay? Don't ask me how I got the calculation. I googled it. Okay? So with that money they raised, they bought a property on Great Avenham Street. And that was the first masjid in Preston. And Morana Ali Saab was the Imam there. He lived there and he gave some service there. Unfortunately, I think the council wouldn't give permission on a permanent basis to that property. So our community brought another property, 18 Clarendon Street, which was an old vicarage. And that became the Jamia Masjid. Jamia Masjid became the central point for all the Muslim community of Preston. So whichever area you lived in, you attended Jamia Masjid. And all the children were ferried by minibuses so they can attend the madrasa there. Okay. By 1965, the government of the time, they were going to introduce some immigration laws which would have made it difficult for our community to call their families from back home. Okay? So, Taking advantage of the situation, more families came over, and by 1968, there was a considerable community in the Deepdale area. So the society at the time decided to purchase a property on Holmrook Road, which was an old co-op shop, which is now Ayub Adaz Salam food store. That became the first masjid and madrasa in the Deepdale area. Maulana Ismail Akuba Saab Rahmatullah Ali was the imam there, and he undertook the masjid and madrasa 
uh, while he was uh, while he started I attended I was one of his students along with so many of my uh, friends and colleagues will know Monais Ismail Sahib and the way he operated okay I could go on and on and on about Monais Ismail Sahib but I think his grandson is going to speak later on uh, Mufti Ismail Akubar Sahib who is the grandson of Monais Ismail Sahib Rahmatullah Ali may Allah accept all his efforts and give him a grant him a place in Jannatul Firdaus Al-Ala Okay, we became happy with him. And if I can share just a little snapshot of myself, how he operated the hips class then. Fajr in the morning, hips class. You didn't go to school till you did your sabak. You go to school, you come back home, you get changed straight to madrasa. Five till half seven, five till eight, whatever time it was. You did your door, you did your sabak door, go home, have your meal, come back to madrasa. And in the beginning, sleepovers. You have to stay in the masjid. Most have kept everybody in the masjid. Okay? So that's how Hafiz class operated. I'm just giving a hint to Mufti Khali. Maybe he might want to uh, entertain that salah <laughs> for, for Quwatul Islam. Okay. Moving on quickly. Back to Peel Hall Street. The council were demolishing properties on Peel Hall Street and Porter Street. And land became available. So the Muslim society bought some land over here and built a masjid. And here we are, Quwwat al-Islam Masjid was born and opened in 1974. Mona Ismail continues his imamat over here. And then in the mid-70s, was joined by Hazrat Mawlana Ibrahim Desa Ishaq Rahmatullah Ali. What an amazing personality he was. Again, we could talk for hours about Mona Ismail and his, and his attributes and his etiquettes. I can still picture him, Mona Ismail Ilyas. So he walks to the musalla with his black coat on, and putting his amama on while he comes to the musalla. And the Hafiz class at the time, we used to call him, we used to call ourselves Mona Ibrahim Desai's black and white army because of his, <laughs> of his uh, that dress. But amazing personality, very pious and humble Imam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all his efforts and grant him Jannatul Firdaus. Cool. Then comes 80s, and Mona Ismail Sahib is joined by none other than our current Imam Sahib, Hazrat Mona Ismail Sahib, joins him in the early 80s. I was still in Madrasa when Musab started uh, teaching in the Madrasa. And then later on, Mona Makbul Sahib joined us. And then the rest, as they say, is history. But Madrasa wise, the masjid was up to this pillar over here. We had the partition classrooms upstairs and three classrooms at the back. And then we've got a couple of extensions afterwards. And then across the road, there used to be a pub and some houses. We used to learn in the houses on Pilo Street, we used to learn in the house on Castleton Road, and then Alhamdulillah, a property became available, uh, the True Text building, we purchased that, the Madrasa exited into that building, we managed to purchase the property on this side, so now Alhamdulillah, you see the Madrasa where it stands, Alhamdulillah. So the community have come a long way, and it doesn't do justice, so that we can only have five, ten minutes to, to, uh, to recognize their uh, contributions they made, the challenges they faced in the early days, the struggles they had, the obstacles they overcame to get to where we are today. And Alhamdulillah, today, here we are set in comfortable uh, situation because of the efforts of the elders before. And we are today reaping and benefiting from the fruits of their labor. Jazakallah khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah khairan. Um, it's such a shame because we were really hoping Jogyat Malsa would be with us today, but he had his grandson's wedding in Leicester, so he did send a message which inshallah Mulan Muhammad Kabir will share later on. And Hazrat Mulana Ibrahim Kaba Sab, I've just received a message from Idris, Hafiz Idris, that he sent his apologies. He reminds me of what Hazrat Mulana Ismail Manubari Sab Rahmatullah used to do at time, because there used to be stage fright that at the last second or last minute come up with an excuse. So today's excuse is, and I'm not saying that you know, it's a valid excuse that there's some mehman, but inshallah we will try and get an opportunity to hear from him firsthand. Their brief was that they were going to speak to us in Gujarati, but here we will possibly have to give it a pass. Next, my respected brothers in Islam, I'm going to invite uh, Molana Uwes Bendik, who used to be a student in our madrasa in the year 2000s. He is the grandson of Hafiz Abbentik Damat Barakatuhum, who is amongst us here today. My respected brothers in Islam, talking about flavors and talking about a variety of individuals, 
Hafiz Bendik, the contribution he has made to our community, we will never ever know. Never know. The thing is, and they've just put it up before I was thinking, Hafiz Bendik, neither is Bendik his surname, nor is he a Hafiz. He's not a Hafiz, nor is Bentik his surname. He used to live on Bentik Street. And typically as Asians, they started calling him Hafeji Bentik because he used to live on Bentik Street. And that word Hafeji, which is his real surname, then slowly, slowly evolved into Hafez Bentik. And that's how we all know him as. But what's the lesson? The lesson, my young friends, is possibly 90% of this Majma might not be a Hafiz, but look at the contribution he has made to the entire society. Not just Deepdale, not just Preston, not just Lancashire, but the entire world. The entire world. Yes, we are celebrating the completion of our Hufaz today, but you don't need to be a Hafiz or an Alim to contribute without Hafiz Abentik and his wisdom and his leadership. The work of Dawa and Tabligh in Preston in Northwest would not be how it is today. So I invite Molana Uwesab, inshallah, to come forward and bless us with a nasheed, inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This nasheed is a tribute to the ulama of the past. So whenever I sing this nasheed, I want you to think of the ulama that were in the past who made effort, and the sacrifices they gave. Not only that, but the ulama that are present as our Hazrat Mawlana Ismail Sahib Damat Barakatuhum to value those ulama as well. So the chorus goes on to, I'll just translate the chorus. Dil se afsurda, which means that our hearts are sad. Akehe shakibana, and our eyes have cast down. Ulama ki judaise, through the departing of the ulama. So whenever I sing this chorus, I want you to think of the previous ulama who made effort and also the current ulama who are making the effort. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dil dar dase af surda ake shakibana. Ulama ki judai se Weeran ahe me khana Dil dar da se af surda Socha bi nahi tha kuch Aisa bi kabhi ho Socha bi nahi tha kuch Aisa bi kabhi ho ga Durwe shoka gulshan se Durwe shoka gulshan se Lamhe me chale jana Dil dar da se af surda Ulama ke uthne se Hera hai jaha wale Ulama ke uthne se Parwahi nahi lekin 
परवाही नहीं लेकिन अंदाज है बेगाना दिल दर दसे अफसुरदा आके है शकीबाना उलमा की जुदाई से वीरान है मे खाना दिल दर दसे अफसुरदा याद आएगी उनकी ओ उल्फत से भरी बातें याद आएगी उनकी ओ उल्फत से भरी बातें अंदाज हकी माना अंदाज हकी माना झुक झुक के वो समझाना दिल दर दस अफसुरदा उलमा की कदर समझो तलबा से करो उल्फत उलमा की कदर समझो तलबा से करो उल्फत सरमा है ये दीका सरमा है ये दीन का और इल्म का पैमाना दिल दर दसे अफसुरदा आखे शकीबाना उलमा की जुदाई से वीरान है मे खाना दिल दर दसे अफसुरदा in the name of Allah the most merciful the most kind before we begin mashallah the sight of Mulana Ismail in his robe is simply beautiful mashallah tabarakallah now respected friends in Islam very quickly when the first batch of immigrants came into this very area and community in the early 50s and 60s our elders and pious predecessors their life revolved around the masjid and madrasa you know every person you speak to and every individual you speak to they keep mentioning the name Maulana ibrahim desai sahib rahmatullahi alayhi you know in fact before I was speaking to people, I didn't know the contribution that this individual has had on our community. In fact, respected friends in Islam, he even taught at our masjid for a short while in 1982. And this is why Ma'ahadu Shuhada, the three martyrs, Mawlana Ibrahim Sahib Rahimahullah Ta'ala is one of them. Now, Jogyat Mulsab was supposed to come here today. He actually gave me a script in Urdu, half I understood, half I didn't understand. Colleagues were adamant that make sure you deliver it in Urdu and I just couldn't do it. Now when I was speaking to Jogyat Mulsab, he mentioned that in the early days in the initiation period of Qut al-Islam Masjid, you know there was a pub as we saw the picture earlier. Now this is history that I didn't know. History that I'm sure you don't know. Where this pub was Jogyat Mulsab and you can imagine in his heydays alongside Mawlana Ismail Akubat Rahimahullah Ta'ala 
they used to come out. Now think about Maghrib time, think about the rain, the cold, and you can kind of imagine how it is when the madrasa is finishing the traffic, the havoc that is there. Jogad Mulsab, Hafizahullah Ta'ala, he just mentioned that every time they used to leave the masjid, at 10 past 7 when the kids were finishing, the children were finishing, there used to be a lot of traffic. Kids were getting picked up. Opposite, there was a pub. Now these, the owner of the pub had a dog. And you know what that means? We've got historical, you know, we've got history with dogs. Now this person, the owner of this pub, would let loose this dog purposefully to annoy the community. Now Maulana Ismail Akubat Rahmatullahi Alayhi Jogyat Mulsab and Mufti Khalid is witness to this. When he was saying this story, he was tearing up. He said, not only will Allah close down this pub, Allah will replace this pub. Now, respected friends in Islam, fast forward a few years. Fast forward a few years, the manifestation of the dua of Maulana Ismail Akubat Rahimahullahu Ta'ala not only have we purchased and we own this piece of land this has changed to a home to a madrasa for 500 pupils respected friends in Islam stars burn out stars burn out however the light continues to travel throughout the galaxy years after the star has burnt out this is what sincerity does this is what dua does we're talking about jogyat mulsab i only found out today that he's 82 years old that's almost 65 years older than me every time he's speaking to me i feel like he's my friend so jogyat mulsab and mufti khalid just mentioned this early and you know he's not here so we can mention this these are our elders you know sometimes this is homegrown talent these are our elders a few years ago, he came to Molana Ismail Sab, our respected Imam, and our head teacher, Mufti Khalid. And he said, Molana Mufti Sab, I want to repay, reimburse every single penny I have been paid during my teaching life. Mufti Sab is witness to this, he has repaid this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to understand who these people are you know we see on our left hand side you know he's in jamaat this weekend but munshi mulsa he's taught in fact 90 percent of us alif bata tha our shamsun mulsa may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a complete recovery people we do not understand acknowledge how can we forget respected friends in islam our dear maulana maqbul hafizahullah ta'ala you know, I was in Madrasa and I'll finish in last one minute. He used to say all the time, and he used to translate the Quran and in Darul Uloom, the Blackburn graduates will know, he used to teach Quran translation. He used to say this and remember, power of words. Maulana Ismail Akubat, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, power of words. Power of words. You know, respected friends, these are people we need to celebrate. And lastly, to finish off our dear, respected, esteemed Maulana Ismail Sahib, Hafizahullah Ta'ala, 40 years of leadership, mentorship, guidance, support, teaching. May Allah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala can repay these individuals to finish off. I pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that all of our elders and teachers who have departed this fleeting world, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant each and every single one of them Jannatul Firdaus. And each one of them who is alive, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them great health, prosperity and contentment. And most importantly, give us all the ability to follow in their footsteps. Now, the next three presentations are three generations of Quwatul Islam. MashaAllah, I'm not going to introduce them because you'll be very pleased to see their faces. So inshallah, to start off with, we've got Molana Ashfaq Sahib, inshallah, who is a pupil of the 80s. Wow. Just as I was walking here, Mufti Khalid said, check the time. So I'll have to keep an eye there. 
1980, it wasn't 1980, 1978 is when my journey started here. And <clears throat> even prior to that, um, many have mentioned Malana Ibrahim Desai, Rahmatullah Ali. Alhamdulillah, my father was his khadim and he used to be with him on all his travels and journeys. <clears throat> my father's name is Rafiq Mirawala. So Mufti Sab said, uh, mentioned father's name, Rahmatullah Ali. So <clears throat> my memories, the date 24th November 1980 still, I've not googled it, I've not checked it, but it's stuck in my mind. And I still remember me brushing my teeth because I didn't go to school that day. And mom coming into the kitchen and saying, Mawlana Ibrahim Desai Sab Rahmatullah Ali has just passed away. Every time we used to travel with my dad and Mawlana Ibrahim Desai Sab Rahmatullah Ali, <coughs> he used to give us one surah to learn. That learn this surah by tomorrow and the reward was 10 pence. In those days, 10 pence was a lot of money. And he used to have a bag of 10 pence, 10 pences, and whoever's learned the surat used to get the 10 pence, and that's how we used to learn. <clears throat> so this is my memory even before starting Maktab. Many names have been mentioned, but my very first Ustad was Hafiz Abdullah Qati. Um, maybe I've just heard that he moved to London and also Hafiz Abdullah Bentik Sahab, also one of my first students, uh, sorry, first teachers. <coughs> Every time he meets me and says, Maulana, I said, don't you dare call me Maulana because you're my Ustad, so I can never have that title in front of you. And the scar right here, I was so small when I joined Maktab and <coughs> Mulana Ghulam is here. I still remember him standing outside the classroom saying, Who to let know who to? I must have gone to do wuzu in the toilets upstairs and slipped because I was so small I had to stand up to reach the tap. And the corner of the tap caught my eye. So I had stitches here, and this car still reminds me of that time. And also remember, Havis Ismail Box has mentioned the size of the masjid. And also like to mention, um, uh, Hafiz Ismail Box mentioned um, the HIFS class, uh, how it used to run here. We also were part of that HIFS class. Um, <clears throat> what I remember is Mawlana Ismail Akubat Sahib Rahmatullah Ali saying that Tamar Lokni Khali Warasme Bed was Chutti, Idul Fitr and Idul Adha. And on Idul Fitr and Idul Adha, if he was to see you in Zohar Namaz, he would say, Chal Eid Patigye, but Dane Bolaile Cluster, after Zohar. And that's the love he gave, and that's how much um, fikr he had. And not only was, was he an Ustad, he was like a fatherly figure. We also remember the time when, if we've not known the Sabak or Dor here, then we had to go to his house so eight o'clock um madrasa's finished then he would take you to his home talo gera vizo and um finish off your sabak door and he never used to care what time we used to finish um <clears throat> so my memories of Malana ismail sab the greatest thing i would like to thank him for is introducing durusul lughatul arabiya into the maktab system here because when we went to Darul my brother Yusuf he was already speaking Arabic when he went into his class and the students of Alim class were so shocked and so surprised that they used to come to him for help when he was still in his class and that's all thanks to Mawlana Ismail Saab who was our Ustad in the later years and also memories of Hafiz Suleiman Jogiyat Sahib. <coughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them all jazai khair for everything that they've done. And also the mention of Hafiz Bentik Sahib 
He is the one who said to me, Taru Aya Kasu Kamnati, get to Blackpool. So he is the reason 20 years ago that I ended up in Blackpool. Jazakallah. Respected listeners, <clears throat> when I was in Madrasa, this is going back in the 90s now, I kept getting told something, you know, and it's actually something I tell my own kids now. Enjoy your Madrasa days. You know, when you actually grow up, you look back and real, realize that there's some of the best days of your life. Now, sometimes I'll be sat with friends or family and, you know, randomly we'll just start reminiscing about Madrasa. And one of the topics which always seemed to come up in our conversations were the end of year madrasa gifts. Now, you, a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about, whether it was the tapilas or whether it was the azan clocks that when you set the alarm for fajr, the whole street would wake up, or whether it was one of them citizen wrist watches where as soon as you got it, it's going straight to granddad. But although the way they were, we used to always look forward to them. You know, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept what we got back in then days. My madrasa journey actually started in the Tudex building. You know, just to even mention Tudex building will bring back memories for a lot of us. You know, as soon as you woke up to the entrance, there was always this funky smell. And then you went in, there was the dim lighting, the rough brown carpet. In the classrooms, you had backlas with graffiti up on the top and then all different variety of chewing gum stuck at the bottom. And then there were the toilets. As soon as you walked in, you felt like you were in India. And then there was a buzu kana and outside there was the orange backlash, oh, sorry, orange plastic mats where if you stood on there too long your feet would hurt. You know, this was all part of the madrasa experience. And then one of the defining features for me was the constant presence of Marhum Walidada Rahmatullah. Mashallah, he was always there, always walking around, always on duty as well. So that's why you could never ever get up to no good because he'd have a special ability to catch you in the act. And then your punishment would be you'd scrape the chewing gum off the butlers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a high rank in Jannah. After that, then it was the Preston Muslim Girls School. Again, it was unique in its own way. You know, the, ta the table and chairs in the classrooms, and we had the long corridor, the vending machine in the middle, where no matter how much we kicked and punched, nothing free ever came out. Um, and then you had the toilets in the corner, the quite creepy ones, where the lights would flicker, and then you'd hear jinnat noises every now and then. But see, again, our Ustads, Alhamdulillah, I've got to give respect to them, you know, they, they gave as good as they got, let's just call it that. You know, they put up, you know, they put up with a lot, you know, we always got up to mischief, they're running around through the corridors, the, the, the playing hide and seek with Muslim. So if he came looking for you, you know, we'd run around from one side and if he come around the other side and by the time he's caught you, we've done a full tawaf. And then, um, you know, one of my favourites is every now and then, someone in the classroom, would um, at the top of the voice start shouting that there's a mouse in the classroom now as soon as he did that the whole classroom would erupt there'd be tables and chairs flying all over the place and be running around helping us up to try and find this mouse that doesn't even exist um may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward our teachers but after that i moved to half his class uh, upstairs and when i moved to half his class actually i was quite surprised with the level of pressure that's required and the commitment for half his class so you know, Alhamdulillah, with a lot of encouragement from home and a lot of support from my Ustad. And when I say support, I'm sure you all know what type of support I'm referring to in them days we got. Um, Alhamdulillah, I completed my hives. And don't get me wrong, there were times where I just wanted to pack it in. But, you know, I persevered and continued. And I'm forever grateful for my parents and my Ustad, Manam Makbul Sab, you know, for helping me get that over the finishing line. But, you know, the hives journey actually doesn't end there. The, the, the bigger effort comes after you become Hafiz and that's where the real challenge is and that requires just as much commitment if not more. So a humble request to, to all the graduating Hufas, don't let go of your Quran, don't become complacent. Again, uh, just a quick mention about Mona Ismail Sab. You know, in my eyes, he's a living legend. Mashallah, he even looks a legend today. Um, and I always remember him as someone who's very soft-hearted and I'll tell you exactly why. So, do you know, when we're in Madrasa, Masab would come teach us Talimul Haq uh, every now and then on a Friday. So some, some, some people sat here might remember this incident. So one of the, on one Friday, myself and my partner in crime, we, um, we were up to no good, we were misbehaving. So then um, Mala Ismail Sab reprimanded myself and my colleague quite severely actually. But the story doesn't end there. 
later that evening um, we were sat at home having dinner my father will remember this we were sat at home having dinner and you know there was a knock on the door my father went to answer the door and then I heard him talking to someone and then he came inside the house and then as he came inside the house I started to recognize you know Muslims have got quite a distinct voice and then I realized it's, it's Mala Ismail Sahib and he's here for round two I, obviously you got to understand you know my parents had no idea why Muslims here because and I'm sure you'll all know the rule in them days was what happens in Madrasa stays in Madrasa that was a simple rule so then he sat with my father in the front room he's relaying the incident to him and then I get called in now just before I went in you know I stuffed a pillow into my jumper you know for body armor and uh, I sat down and to my disbelief Mulsab actually came to apologize for reprimanding me in the manner he did and I was shocked um, I was relieved you know round two didn't come but um, I was shocked that he actually came out of his own way as a revered Imam and a respected Imam in our society he came and apologized and for me I'll take a lot of lesson from that that despite what I might think what Mawlana does or says he actually comes from a place of love so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a long and healthy life again just to be clear I'm not saying that parents go around you know um, parents will be expecting Ustads to uh, come around and apologize it's not how it works um, lastly just a quick mention on the Kuwait Islam Madrasa system and how much it's evolved over the years in our days, if you ask any kid, what do you prefer, school or madrasa, hands down, all of them would say school. You fast forward 20 years, Alhamdulillah, the Quwwat al-Islam Madrasa has made leaps and bounds in the way they deal with the students, the infrastructure, the ethos, the vision, the way they interact with the children, the engagement, to the point where I recently asked my own children, that what do you enjoy more, school or madrasa? And Alhamdulillah, both of them categorically told me that they enjoy school, madrasa over school. Now, respected listeners, now to get to a place where our modern day children enjoy madrasa over school has taken years and years of effort and duas. So our role and responsibility in the society and the community is to continue supporting the madrasa and the masjid in whatever way we can in its maintenance and its continuous improvement. Jazakallah. Oh. The third flashback was supposed to be from Adil Ahmad, uh, who's well known as Rhino. But again, he's coming up with excuses. He was actually my first student, along with Asif Master and many, a transition between Mulana Ismail Sab and myself. And I'm sure Imam Mulsab, whilst I was speaking to him yesterday, he was remembering Firoz and many others, that your first batch of students, they're not your students, they're your teachers and they did give me a really really good time but i think he's still deciding not to come in but we'll move on forward inshallah mufti ismail akubat is the grandson of one of our great great um contributors to our society and our community hazrat mulana ismail akubat sahab rahmatullah alayhi. and um, mufti sahab is the son of hafiz of zurrahman <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. Now before the nazam, Mufti Sab has requested me to speak for a couple of minutes on my respected dada, Hazrat Maulana Ismail Sahib Rahmatullahi Alayh. Now unfortunately, my dada he passed away the year before I was born, so I did not get to see my own dada. But honestly, I have heard so much about him from childhood until now that it is as though I have spent a large amount of my life with him and then for this speech I had to ask obviously my father my uncles my aunties and those who have seen my dada and they mentioned to me few things which I would like to highlight today so giving some history my dada came to England in 1972 and he came straight to Preston and like Hafiz mentioned in the history, Quwatul Islam Masjid at that time was not ready yet. So he was teaching where currently Ayyub Mama's As Salam food store is. And then in 1974, this current masjid which we are all present in was erected. And my dada was the senior Imam over here. He was the Sadr of the Madrasa and he was the teacher of the Hifs class. And Omana Ashfaq Sab, one of the few points I was going to mention, he's already mentioned that new and how nowadays we have so many holidays in maktab 
we have the summer holidays winter holidays half term holidays you know in those days the commitment was so much that the only holiday that was given was the two days of Eid and now my dear respected friends this also is part of the dedication of the students but this is only possible if the teacher is ready so he was ready whether it be morning afternoon evening you know Badr al Mutaba he said he said to me that there would be times where because students have not read their sabak dada would be putting his shoes on and he would be walking home and he would make students pray behind him and so much so his dedication and his passion for deen was so much that you know in the latter stages of his life when he you know lost most of his eyesight and he couldn't see you know everyone used to say malsab tama gherra tama masjid na wa madrasa na wa zarurat nati but still you know he wouldn't listen to anyone and even with due to ill health diabetes poor eyesight he would still come to the masjid he would still come to the madrasa because he took it at, as as his responsibility similarly my imam sati mana ayub sa was mentioning the you know the the love he used to show to all the ulama who were junior to him so when mana ayub sa came to preston my dada was obviously known as the senior alim and the senior imam so mana sab says he was you know not as confident in doing bayan and he would shy away from doing bayan so my dada used to go to him and teach him a very easy method that this is how to do bayan and every now and then he'd come on check that is everything going well do you need any help and now Maula, mashallah mona sab we have to stop him he goes over time when he's doing bayan so this was you know all the love and the passion and the dedication he had for our deen and sadly he passed away at a relatively young age he passed away at the age of around 54 55 and uh, he left behind seven of his own children but he left behind dozens of his spiritual children who will all be a means of sadaqa jariya for him may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know fill his grave with noor and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all his sacrifices and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to follow in his footsteps ab jo hai kai saalon se nazam ki jo hai mush chhut gayi hai lekin mufti sahab ka chuke israr tha लेकिन ये जो नात है वो बहुत प्यारी नात है चूँकि रबी रबी अव्वल का महीना है तो इसमें अल्लाह के नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि सल्ला वसल्लम पर दुरूद भेजा जा रहा है और अल्लाह के नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के शमाइल का उसमें और आप सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की खसलतों का उसमें जिक्र है तो उसमें जो है एक जुमला बार बार आएगा उसमें आप सबको मेरे साथ मोहब्बत के साथ जोर से पढ़ना है और वो है अस्सलाम अस्सलाम तो जब भी मैं पढ़ूँ अस्सलाम अस्सलाम सबको अल्लाह के नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम पर दुरूद भेजने की नीयत से अस्सलाम अस्सलाम पढ़ना है Mustafa, Mustafa, Manba'un lissafa, Sayyidul Anbiya, Mish'alun fil wafa, Kana fi atfihi, Lil yatama difa, Hanna qalbi lahu, Fada shawqan ilayh, ليس أرجو سوى شربة من يدي الصلاة عليه والسلام عليه للسماء ارتقى فأتى باللقاء وغدا وجهه نيرا مشرقا كان من عفوه حين حان اللقاء قال فلتذهبوا أنتم الطلقاء حقد الداركو 
शाह अब रार को मेरे सरकार को सबके हम खार को मेरे सरकार को सबके हम खार को असलम 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 सलाम देखो किन किन चीजों पर शायर सलाम भेजता है उनके रुख सार पर जुल्फ खमदार पर उनकी आंखों में सुर में की मितदार पर उनके कदमों पे और धीमी रफ्तार पर उनके अल्फाज की प्यारी महकार पर उनके अखलाक पर आला किरदार पर उन पे लिखे गए सारे अशार पर ऐसे ओ साफो अजमत के मीनार पर रोज जाऊं मैं कुर्बान सरकार पर उन पे पर तरहूं मैं दूरूद सलाम उन पे पर तरहूं मैं दूरूद सलाम असलम 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 अब शायद जो है अल्लाह के नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की वालिदा और दीगर सहाबियात और सहाबा को याद करता है आमिना माई को आपकी दाई को बुरी हम साई को हर साई को माँ की ममताओं को जन्नती पाओ को प्यार की छाओ को उम्मती माओ को इश्क के फख्र को इल्म के कसर को पे करे सब्र को बिनते बू बकर को नाज बरदार को उनके गम खार को चार के चार को यानी हर यार को उनके दिलदार को आशिके जार को जानुए यार को यार को गार को आदिल की आब को जोश की ताब को गोहरे नयाब को इबन खताब को माल को जान को दस्ते फैजान को इबन आफान को हजरत उसमान को तेज तलवार को फतेह बरदार को आजम कर आर को उनके घर बार को फिक्र एहसास को उनके अलमास को इल्म की प्यास को इबन आब्बास को उनके जाबाज को एक दम साज को हबशी अंदाज को उजली आवाज को एक सो खानदान को एक सना खान को नात की शान को यानी हसन को असलम 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 
السلام 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 جزاكم الله خيرا احسن الجزاء there's a call registration pk72 eut if you're the owner could you please move the call جزاك الله my respected brothers in Islam, we're now coming towards the end of today's program. And I am going to humbly request our Honorable Ustad and Imam, Hazrat Mulana Ismail Sab Damat Barka, to whom, inshallah, we will have a few questions that I have prepared. We will pose the questions to Imam Sab, he will give his advice. And thereafter, inshallah, we will start with the commencement of the Holy Quran. With love and affection from the entire community, Hazrat Mulana Ismail Sab, may we request you to come forward, please. Jazakallah. Takbir. 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 Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hazrat Mulana Ismail Sab Damat Barakatuhum who has served our community for 40 years as an Imam and inshallah later on I will just explain because there are many other Imams over here today and we are recognizing the contribution of all our Imams yes. he is 67 years of age he came to Preston in his early 80s. He studied in Darul Ulum Kantaria as well as Darul Ulum Deuban and many fun stories of Darul Ulum Deuban where he as a young child student used to smuggle some rotis because of the situation that used to be there. But some fun memories. When I invited Molana Uwes and Mufti Ismail Akubat and we were having a discussion and going over the fact of 40 years, Mufti Ismail and Molana Uwes both unanimously said that 40 years, how has he managed? And the fact of the matter is that the day he got married, he had to lead Fajr Salah, but then some Musallis will think that Fajr Imam ne Parwani, Amar ne Parwani, it's both the same things. No. When he got married, Hazrat Maulana Ismail Akubat Sahib Rahmatullah went for Hajj for six weeks. So he had a duty of five Salahs on the trot straight after marriage for six weeks. My young friends who plan months in advance to go on a honeymoon, the leaders of a community, the honeymoon is the Musalla in the Masjid. And today we should encourage our young children to understand this. So Imam Sahib, a few quick questions. First of all, did you always want to become an alim from a young age? No. <laughs> okay. I wanted to be a doctor. And my father said, I was a doctor. And he did his B.A. in 1942. So 
મને કે ના બેટા મને ખબર છે યુનિવર્સિટી કોલેજની શું થાય એટલે આપણે દાર રૂમમાં જવાનું હાફિઝ જવાનું સો હાફિઝ તો મને ગામમાં જ બિહાર દીધો હતો સો આઈ દીદ ટ્વેલ્થ ટુ થર્ટીન સિપારા ઇન ભડકોદરા દેન આઈ વેન ટુ દાર રૂમ કંધારિયા વેન ઇટ્સ ઓપન નાઇન્ટીન સિક્સટી નાઇન So Musab 40 years fast forward or more than that now that you did become an alim and serve the community and let's face it it's our community the remuneration is not something rewarding I'm very happy that only Musab wanted to become a doctor No uh, uh. <laughs> yeah when i see an, anybody become a doctor i'm i become so happy like i became a doctor okay honestly by seeing doctor there i have friendship good mm. friendship with doctor sir but taking into like consideration the struggles and everything that imamat and community leadership brings with it do you regret the fact that you went into no, darul and no, became no, an no. imam i am very very grateful and thankful to my dad uh, papa father mm-hmm. that he made me uh, go to darul and become a alim mashallah alhamdulillah alhamdulillah uh, what's your in gogari ke rehmat farma amin 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 your favorite surah in salah My favorite surah I use most of time I used to read Woman ahsanu qawlan mimman da'a ila Allah wa amila salihah wa qala innani min al-muslimin wa la tastawi al-hasanatu wa la sayyi'ah that one okay those are the, this next question um, the sisters are absolutely going to love it I'm shooting myself on the foot here mm. and the brothers you might taunt me for this Um, I've heard this from a very good source, a very close friend of yours, that ever since you've come into this country, because we see Imam Sahib in the masjid, so I wanted something from the house, from the home, just like as that Aisha taught us about Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's attributes at home. I've heard from a very good source, and I want you to confirm if it's true, that ever since you moved into this country, right up until this stage, with your health and medical problems, Not only do you do your own ironing but you do the ironing for the entire family. Yes, true. It is true. Yes. I do mashallah. Alhamdulillah, may Allah likes. Amen. 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 And recently abna hu jo ke wife no accident ho ni ta ki life to yahan ilne apne ne khid band kari khawai lo garam kare pakave baddu. To main last 3 months ya lai kai ટાઈમ આપ્યો કે ખાવા તો પડોશમાં જઈ ને હગવારા મેથી આવી જાય પણ ગરમ ગવાનું ને પછી લાવીને એને ખિદમત ગવાની પણ અલહમદુલ્લા શી ઇઝ ગેટિંગ બેટર વિથ યોર ડુઆસ એન્ડ વિથ ધ ફઝલ ઓફ અલ્લાહ શી ઇઝ વોક ઇન ના વિથ સ્ટીક એન્ડ શી કેન મેક થી એઝ વેલ નાવ એન્ડ માય બ્રધર્સ ધ રીઝન વાય આઈ મેન્શન ધીસ યુ નો આઈ વોઝ ટોકિંગ ટુ મુલા મોહમ્મદ કબીર યસ્તડે એન્ડ આઈ સેડ યુ પ્રોબલી ડોન્ટ ઇવન નો વેર ધ આયન ઇઝ એન્ડ એન્ડ હી વોઝ ટેલિંગ મી કે તું બોર્ડ આયો sometimes when i was in hospital or i go to for hajj or umrah or india they whatever they need to iron they do it and leave it for me so me chya divas thai sometimes marakawa and imam sab because this was his passion it was like and one thing i'm going to mention is my respected brothers in islam these imams you know i was talking to mufta yub sab last week and he mentioned about one of the musallis who said ke mosat tamane namaz parwani na amane parwani tame jost allah ko par paro na ame quietly pare is both the same things and again talking about ignorance this is ignorance at its peak what the leaders and our imams and community leaders do for us on a community level is something which we will never know just one case to arbitrate on marriage counseling The first call Mulsab I only need you for 5 minutes and I've witnessed this first hand with Imam Mulsab and discussion with Maulana Iyas and many others Everyone says it's only a 5 minute job it becomes a 5 weeks job literally and not just marriage whether it's inheritance or business problems or so many and you know that by the end of this resolution at least one party definitely is not going to be happy with your decision This is the community leaders that we are blessed with and I've seen Imam Sab do this day in day out. Not only has he served our salahs, 
He was the chaplain and the imam in Royal Preston Hospital. He was the chaplain and the imam in Preston Prison. He has been a counselor in our community. And then when it comes to nikahs and bereavement, ghusl, Allahu Akbar, 40 years, my respected brothers in Islam. You know what? I started this area when the pandemic started and I think, you know what? We've achieved something. Imam Sab has done it for 40 years. And not only has he done it for 40 years, in Preston today we probably have 10 Gusal rooms. Back then there were two Gusal rooms. And not just the Mayyads of Preston. Imam Sab has told me so many times that Mayyads used to come from Kirkham, from Blackpool, from Southport, and all the other places with the elders of the community, some who are present today, some who have passed away. You know what? Doing Gusal. And I've witnessed this and we were talking about this yesterday. That no matter how many gusals have observed Imam Sab, he is teaching the family members with the same passion, the same love, and the same commitment as though it is his first gusal and he's teaching his own students and his own children. These, my respected brothers, and despite all this, I go home, I'm going to confess because I'm not considering myself as an alim here, I'm one of you. You know what? I'm tired, I've had a tough day in madrasa, and then to go home and do ironing. If this is not the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then what is it? My respected Imam Sahib, we as a community will never, ever, ever be able to thank you for your service. No. And we make dua that only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala rewards you for the love and the commitment that you have dedicated to all our communities. Amen. My humble request is if you can just share one short nasiha to our hufaz and our congregation and thereafter I am going to invite our respected Hafiz Ben Tiksab to present a gift to you inshallah number one I don't deserve any uh, thanks or shukriya rather I do shukriya to you all young and old why na halne tame mane 40 years nibai wo आपने मुझे निभाया ये आपका एहसान और दूसरी बात कि अगर इस खिदमत के दौरान मुझसे जानबूझकर या अनजाने में किसी को कोई भी तकलीफ पहुंची हो जबान से या किसी भी लाइन से तो प्लीज बराए मेहरबानी में आपसे सिंसियरली आई बेग यू टू फॉरगिव मी Please forgive. And I ask you to make dua for me that Allah forgive me as well. I mean, yeah. Number three, jo nasihat ke baare mein aapne kaha ke jaise aap, maine aapko ye dekha. Alhamdulillah, Quwatul Islam ke musalli hone, mujhe bahut mohabbat di, respect di, har har tarah se kya lagga, every way, mashaAllah. Or आपने अब आपस में इत्तिफाक और इत्तिहाद के साथ आप रहे तो अल्लाह ने आपका उसको नतीजा दिया कामयाबी दी आपके जो जो प्रोजेक्ट और मंसूबे थे उसमें अल्लाह ने आपको कामयाबी दी तो उस पर अल्लाह का शुक्र अदा करते रहें एक और नेक बनकर रहें घरों पर भी एक और नेक बनकर रहें और उसमें तीन बातों का ख्याल रखें आप लोग गुजरात में ही नहीं वाल साहब क्या करें कि चाल से फाव से ने भाव से जे हाबिद बनाई ले अटली हाबिद ये कोई दिवस दुखी नहीं था अगर आपको दुखी नहीं होना है तो चाल से फाव से एंड भाव से चाल से मीन्स अब जे गाड़ी हसे गमी थी गाड़ी से गेहूँ कॉपीट हसे गेहूँ घर हसे चाल से अभी रेवाय भाव से गमी थी खावा हो पीवा हो भाव से गमे थी बेहवा हो फाव से हुआ न हो जय हुआ न हो ए फसीनस नहीं होना चाहिए सबनस पहला नखरा हो नहीं बदा नखरा ए दुखी थानी बात हो गर्मी प्रॉब्लम थाय तो इन चीज़ों का अगर हम ख्याल रखें तो इन शह अल्लाह की मदद हमारे शामिल हाथ हाल रहेगी और आपको एक और नेक बनकर रह कर मस्जिद में मदरसा के कामों में घरों पर भी हर एतबार से मशवरे से काम लेते रहें और कभी आपको कभी कोई ऐसा लगता है कि ये तो ठीक नहीं है तो आप रिलेवेंट जो आदमी उससे मिले हैं उससे अदब से एहतराम से बातचीत करेंगे अल्लाह रास्ता खोल देगा मसला हल हो जाएगा
इंशाल्लाह अब शाउटिंग गुस्सा होना पैनिक होना फ्रस्ट्रेशन होना इन चीज़ों से बचे ये सब शैतानी काम है और शैतान का साथ न दे अल्लाह की रस्सी को मजबूती से थामे रहें कुरान को वाह तस्म भी हबल जमिया नेक एक बन करके कुरान की तालीमत पर अमल प्यारा रहे अल्लाह ताली हम सब को कबूल फरमा खैर So on behalf of the entire community and nothing will be able to do justice um if someone Elias by or Habisan yeah Habisan So I was thinking with Satis and colleagues for a very long time that how how can we reward an imam of 40 years is impossible so two things behold musab one thing that all imams are very very conscious of always is time because obviously they've got to lead So we've done one presentation of a plaque which says Sayyidul Qaum Khadimuhum that the true leader of a community is one who serves them and then on behalf of the entire community we've written a dua that may the almighty grant you the best reward for all the time you have given and continue to give in his path amin from your beloved community Quwwatul Islam But at the same time you might think him also plaque. So we were thinking what more can we give? So inshallah Imam Sab we as your students and your children both male as well as female as individuals we are inshallah going to pledge to raise money to build a masjid to whichever destination that you want the masjid to be built as a means of sadaqah jariya for you your family members and inshallah all the asatiza and contributors of our masjid and society so my respected brothers in islam this appeal is going to be launched now we are going to broadcast the link and there are going to be brothers who are going to be um, uh, collecting the funds as well whatever contribution inshallah in a third world country as a means of sadqa ijariya it's nothing for us nothing for us and even this will never be able to do shukriya my whole hearted appeal to all of us as children as students as recipients of the service of imam sab and the community is inshallah dig deep contribute whole heartedly and imam sab will decide which part of the world this masjid should be built so inshallah now i'm going to request our hafiz sab bentik to present this to imam sab as a gesture of appreciation on behalf of us all And Imam Sab, we've got a hamper for you over there as well, which we will present inshallah later on. And as the saying goes, that behind every successful man, there's always a successful. Let you finish it off, inshallah. But we've got a uh, hamper to present to Khala as well, inshallah, um, which will be presented in the hall, inshallah. My respected brothers in Islam, time is very limited, so today I'm not going to do a bayan on the Hibz al Quran. for both the males as well as the females i just want you to take away with you one picture what's in slide just one picture next okay this one hundreds and thousands of soldiers millions of people watched the procession millions around the globe 10 days people were waiting to witness or see the coffin overnight for 10 days 24/7 there were queues for almost 13 to 14 hours and within our circles we were fascinated 
There were people saying, okay, you know what, it's a jeep. Look at the soldiers. One of our teachers said, look at the discipline of the soldiers. And I asked the children in the assembly and one pupil said, I was sad to see it. She's never seen the queen, never met the queen, never had any contribution from the queen, but yet she was saddened. My respected brothers in Islam, today's Hiv's talk to my fellow pupils as well as the parents and the congregation is that was the end of the procession where an individual is taking the crown off the coffin and then what happens is that is the coffin that's where the crown was and it is empty where in this world for individuals it comes to an end for our huffaz inshallah thumma inshallah it is the beginning don't ever 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 be fooled with what we see never our deen is pure if we don't take ibrah from this the millions of pounds that have been spent and i'm not disrespecting anything i've talked about this before but if we don't take lessons from this image then my respected brothers in islam the media is brainwashing us and we are living in a society where unfortunately the reality is not in front of us nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said upon the completion of the quran in jannah the crown will be presented to the parents and inshallah the hufaz will be reciting and moving one step one step closer to jannatul firdos may allah give us all the correct understanding amin ya rabbal alameen inshallah one by one now uh, the hufaz are going to come and do the completion of the quran and thereafter imam sahib is going to make the dua inshallah <coughs> no it's okay Masar. And yet, sir, well, sir, come on. And this, this, you know what you see? This is reality. Imam Sabi stood up. I was sat here. He could have said that, you know what? They'll sit here. These subtle things, don't dismiss them. He said, nah, Hafiz with his knees. And I'm telling you, someone else mentioned, you don't want to see how he's going upstairs. Literally, you'd feel that you know, what is this person doing? I've told him so many times as a respect, Monsab, it's okay, stay home, come to Madrasa, but he will still make his way upstairs, crippled because of his knees. May Allah give us the correct understanding. Amin. Hafiz Amir. Hafiz Amir bin Al Tafchana. Aroudu billahi min a shaytan in Rajim, Ismilahi Rahman in Rahim. Ul Aroudu bi Rabbin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas, Min Sheril was was il Nas. الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين حافظ رئيس بن إرفان آدم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله العظيم Hafiz Marwan bin Imjaz Razakazi. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas, malikin nas, ilahin nas. من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله العظيم حافظ عبد الرحمن تراوة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدود الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين حافظ ريحان بن إبراهيم ناكودا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شذ الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله العظيم حافظ محمد زين فتل أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين حافظ ريحان بن موسى بوباد
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله العظيم حفظ سمير بن محمد قرجي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين صلى الله العظيم حافظ إبراهيم بن إكرام بارغيت أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله حافظ إبراهيم بن محمد قرجي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شج الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أمين حافظ آدم بن حنيف بطل أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله العظيم آمين ما شاء الله
mashallah that brings a completion of 11 of our hufaz may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all their efforts may allah accept the efforts of their parents inshallah now they are going to be presented with the certificate and inshallah the asatis are going to do the amama which is the dastar bandi and thereafter inshallah i'm going to request Hazrat imam Mulana ismail sahab to conclude the majlis with a dua so inshallah if the first lot Change slide. Okay, Hafiz Karizubar, uh, if you can come forward, please. Karizubar, Hafiz Zurahman, Hafiz Muhammad said, please be really tight on time. Karizubar, sir. Got to do this every single his completion. If someone knows where he is, can you just tell me? Karisa, we're not going to start the, uh, the Star Bandi because it is your effort and your love and your passion. Please do comfort. Can you please make way, inshallah? I'm going to get told off, but her. Next slide. Hafiz Yusuf. G. Masuk. Just give the amama to the ustaz and give the certificate to Mulan Isma. G. Hafiz Amir Bil Al Taf Jana. Hafiz Abdul Rahman Turawa. Hafiz Muhammad Zain Patel. Hafiz Samir bin Muhammad Gurji. Hafiz Rahman. The amazing thing and the satisfaction which I'm facing in this completion in particularly is two of the Ustads, they only completed the Hivs in our Masjid not so many year, years ago. So Hafiz Muhammad Said and Hafiz Yusuf, they did the completion, I think it was in about 2011 and 12. Now they've been blessed to be the Ustads and Alhamdulillah now they are doing the Dastar Bandi of their own students. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let this investment continue for all our communities. Alabai Musa Mula Muhammad. Mula Musa. Mula Yusuf Sab. Mula Makbul. Mula Musa Sab. Fadl. Oh, Hafiz Muhammad Mullah is another one. So you know when we met Munshi Mulsab yesterday. And we said ke Mulsa Tameta Mane Takti Paraiviti and he goes ke no Taktina Paraiviti Mishkat Sharif Paraiviti. Okay? And it's a reality because the foundation teachers are just as important when it comes to occasions like this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all their efforts. Allah uh, Abdurrahman, your dad will be watching from Pakistan and he'll tell me off. Come here. Come here. Mona Naim Sabson, he's in forty days. J. Um, Hafiz Marwan bin Imjaz Razakazi, Hafiz Rais bin Irfan Adam, Hafiz Rayhan bin Ibrahim Nakuda. And here we heard the Hazrat Mulana Ibrahim Desai Sahib Rahmatullah used to walk and do his amama. MashaAllah. Hafiz Rayhan bin Ibrahim Nakuda, Hafiz Rayhan bin Musa Bobat, Hafiz Ibrahim bin Ikram Barget, Hafiz Adam bin Hanif Patel, Hafiz Ibrahim bin Muhammad Haf Gurji.
जी Listen, I know we just a bit over time, but this is my humble, humble um, request. And I know some of the imams are over here, Mulana Ilyas sir, if you can just come forward, please. Mufti Ayub sir, Mufti Imran sir, and please other imams who are here, this last imam, I just want you to present it to imam sir, please. As imams to imams, inshallah, Mufti Ayub sir. Mufti Imran sahab and others as well who are please present Mulana Ashfaq sahab and other Imams inshallah we conclude this majlis Jazakumullah khairan others who are here and if they're sitting next to you then just prompt them Mufti Ismail Molana West. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا قبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم يا ربنا لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم يا ربنا إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم يا ربنا نسل وحشتنا في قبورنا اللهم ارحمنا بالقرآن العظيم واجعله لنا إماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة اللهم يا ربنا ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وآناء النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين اللهم يا ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار يا رب كريم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اس مبارك وقت میں مبارك دربار میں يا رب كريم اس بہترین تقریب کو قبول فرما جس میں ہمارے بارہ بچوں نے گیارہ بچوں نے حفظ قرآن کی تکمیل فرمائی ہے اللہ اسے قبول فرما یا رب كريم ان کے والدین کو قبول فرما ان کے آساتذہ کو قبول فرما 
اور تمام اور منتظمین کو قبول فرما اور ہم حاضرین کو قبول فرما حفظ قرآن کی برکت کے طفیل میں ہمارے مال و جان میں دین و ایمان میں استطابر میں روزگار معاش میں ہر چیز میں برکتیں ناصل فرما یا رب قریب یا دل جلال والکرام تا دم حیات جو یہ حفاظ ہیں ان کی اور دنیا جہاں کے تمام حفاظوں کے سینوں میں تیرے کلام کلام مجید کو ہمیشہ ہمیشہ کے لئے محفوظ فرما قرآن کے تقاضوں پر چلنے کی ہم سب کو توفیق نصیب فرما یا رب کریم ایمان و عافیت کے ساتھ عزت اور راحت والی روزی نصیب فرما ایمان و عافیت کے ساتھ عزت اور راحت والی کشادہ حلال روزی بھی نصیب فرما عافیت والی لمبی زندگی بھی نصیب فرما اسلام والی زندگی نصیب فرما ایمان والی موت نصیب فرما بیمانوں کو شفاء کامل آج آجلہ نصیب فرما ہماری نسلوں کو قبول فرما ہماری نسلوں کی نسلوں کو قبول فرما ان کے لئے دین و ایمان پر قائم رہنا اس پر چلنا آسان فرما یا رب قریب یا ذل جلال والکرام ہماری دنیا بھی بنا دے ہماری آخبرت بھی بنا دے دنیا اور آخرت کی بلائیوں سے سرر فرواز اور مالا مال فرما ہمارے تمام مرحومین کی بال بال مغفرت فرما ہمارے جو خادمین ذمہ دار چلے گئے ان کو ان کی بال بال مغفرت فرما جنت الفردوس میں علا مقام نصیب فرما اور جو حیات ہیں ان کی زندگوں میں عافیت والی لمبی زندگی نصیب فرما ہم سب کی تمام قربانیوں کو خدمتوں کو محبتوں کو قبول فرما اور ہم میں آفیت آپس میں ایک اور نیک بنے رہنے کی توفیق نصیب فرما ہماری تیرے دین کی مسجد مدرسہ کی خدمہ کو قبول فرما ہماری تمام دعاوں کو قبول فرما اللہم یا ربنا انہا نسألک من کل خیر ما سألک نبیوک و حبیبک محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یا ربنا انہا نعوذ بک من کل شر ما سعادک نبیوک و حبیبک محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم انت المستعان و علیک البلاغ و لا حول و لا قوة الا باللہ سبحان ربک رب العزت عما صفون و سلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين برحمته My respected brothers in Islam, uh, Maghrib Adhan will take place. There are people who are upstairs as well. Inshallah, straight after Maghrib, just remain seated so that we can give you a little bit of guidance for convenience of everyone. What is the best way forward so that we can, Inshallah, all go to the um, eating area appropriately. My request to the sisters in Preston Muslim Girls School is, Inshallah, the intizam has been done, so we're not going to have to wait around. Just a little bit of patience from everyone. Inshallah, you'll get the reward in this blessed month of Sunnah as well. Listen to the Appas, and Inshallah, it will become convenient for everyone. Mulana Ahmad Sahib, if I can request you. Adan. Imam Sahib, Maghrib Salah. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله 
أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفلاح حيا على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله پیار اور شفقت کے ساتھ گھندے سے گھندہ ملے لیں صفحیں سیدھی اور مکمل ہو جائی اللہ اکبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولد ضالين ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل توميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده اللہ اکبر سبحان اللہ اکبر اللہ 
Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladheen An'amta Alayhim غير المغبوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك السلام أنت عليه الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر سبحان 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 الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان سبحان الله أكبر سلام سلام كافي سلام شهد أن لا إله إلا الله شهد أن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام تبارك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام برحمة So brothers, um, first of all, those brothers who are performing the salah upstairs, if we inshallah just allow them to go into the nursery building first, it will make life easier for everyone inshallah. Because we're going to be serving upstairs as well, but we can't stop prepping until the musallis who are upstairs can go into the nursery hall. 
So brothers who are praying the salah upstairs, could they please make their way into the nursery hall? As for the sisters, inshallah, as you leave the Preston Muslim Girls School Hall, you will be directed into the madrasa building by the appas. Inshallah, just stick to the numbers that are allocated. We are hoping that you won't have to wait for too long. But please listen to the appas and brothers in the masjid. Just wait for the brothers upstairs to clear up. And then inshallah, we will give further guidance as to where we need to go inshallah. In the meantime, pray your two rakat sunnats. Pray two rakats nafil. Seize the opportunity to perform awabin as well. And inshallah, by the end of it, uh, your time will be ready for food. And please do contribute towards the Sadqa Ijariya uh, appeal that we have launched. Dig deep and encourage others as well. Jazakumullahu khairan.